Today I'm going to show you five of the best modded armor sets for Elden Ring. Any sixth uh, armor set that's more of a bonus, I mean it doesn't exactly fit with the lore of the game, it kind of stands out a bit, but because I'm a huge nerd of this particular series, if you are as well, you're definitely going to love it. So first let's start off with the meme that even non-FromSoft game players know about. And no, I'm not talking about the get good thing, I'm talking about the praise the sun emote and a modder actually a modded Solaire's entire set as well as a sword and a shield for Elden Ring and it simply looks amazing. Honestly, this is the only set you should run as a FromSoft fan for any type of faith build and it looks really good. I just love the vibrant colors and how the shield looks especially. The sword is a bit basic but like that's not what makes the set amazing, it's the meme behind it, it's the history. And the fact that you can actually praise the sun with a faith build. Now there's no praise the sun emote, uh, you can do the rapture emote or the ring emote, but that's as close uh, to it as you'll get. Now the second one on the list is one of the best samurai outfits I've ever seen. If you're playing a female samurai character, then this is definitely the set you want to get. Even if you're not a fan of Neo, which is what the set is based on, I think there's a lot to love about it because it's a little skimpier, but it still retains that samurai feel. And it also comes with a whole new haircut for your character. It's haircut number 21, and you can choose to put it or not put it. It's not going to change anything, but that's what I like about it. You can definitely mix and match this outfit with other outfits in the games or other modded outfits that you have as well, so long as obviously you know they don't replace the same parts. I use the Ronin helmet just because I think it's freaking awesome. It looks a bit odd with this set, but uh, I do like odd things. But it's just a beautiful, uh, vibrant set as well, like with colors that we don't see in this game, the reds and the blues, and it just looks really, really great. Now keep in mind this set is for a female character, however, if you want to put it on a male character, uh, you would have to go where you dropped uh, the parts files in the mod folder and just change the F in the name of the file to an M for all of them, and it should work on a male character, however, there might be some clipping here and there obviously because this was made for a female character. The third armor set I wanted to show you guys is a set from Dark Souls 3, the Ferrum armor. I never played a big bonk type of character in Dark Souls 3 and now I'm really jealous because this armor set looks amazing. It looks so freaking good and I can finally use it in Elden Ring. And you can incorporate it in a battle mage build or just a big bonk build. I really see this working well with a frost type of build like I made a few weeks ago. I think this armor set would be perfect for it. It just has some really nice colors and again I say this about the colors but I feel like a lot of the armor sets in Elden Ring, the palette is just very faded, there is nothing vibrant or that's really like extremely eye-catching, you know? And this one goes against everything I was saying because I just said I like the more vibrant colors compared to the faded stuff, but this is a really, really great set. Especially if you don't like how big and bulky the Knight's Cavalry set is and you want to make a character that has like an all-black outfit, then this is definitely uh, the one you would want to use. And let's say you don't like the helmet, you can actually take it off and the set still looks good, like it doesn't look like it's missing a piece. And you can definitely mix and match with other helmets in the game as well. I would definitely try to go for the bandit mask if you don't want to use the uh, fallen knight helmet. And I really appreciate that the modder, you know, added the cape physics because it would be odd walking around with a uh, rigid piece of cloth behind you. So overall it fits so well in the game and it just doesn't look out of place. So if you want to add armor sets that won't break immersion then this is definitely one of them. The fifth armor set is from Berserker which is an extremely popular manga series. I personally haven't read it. I absolutely love the crap 
out of this armor. And the cool thing about this mod is that uh, there's different versions of it, so you can just mix and match depending on what you want. So you can have a closed helmet, an open helmet, you can have the armor set with accessories, or you can have the bandages and the iron hand that he has. So it gives you a lot of options, which is really fun. I mean, if you're playing RPGs, then you're like me and you probably love dressing up your characters. Now, one thing about this mod though is that you actually have to download uh, the one that says update files 1.0 7.1 and basically what you want to do is grab the regulation.bin file from that but use everything else from the actual mod file which is the berserker armor and dragon slayer if you're confused about my explanation i'll just put a screenshot for you guys uh, to show you what your mod folder should look like if you want this mod specifically and last but not least because i am a big big star wars fan if you've been on my channel for a while you know this because i made plenty of builds plenty of videos covering star wars stuff in elden ring then you definitely won't be surprised by the last modded armor on this list which will transform your character into darth maul and of course i had to add the double bladed lightsaber mod with this just to show it off it looks so freaking amazing like just look at the detail on the face it looks so freaking good the model that the modder used for this i'm pretty sure it comes from a battlefront but it's so perfect like it captures his likeness perfectly and i absolutely love this i wish there was a mod in this game where you could like change all the bosses to uh, star wars villains or on the flip side, Star Wars heroes, so you could play the villain, which would be freaking cool. I mean, who doesn't want to fight Rey, right? Am I right? Like a Star Wars fan can have a lot of fun in this game. And obviously you won't hear the lightsaber sounds that we know and love, but it's a step in the right direction. Especially if you're like me and you really, really don't like the Battlefront games. So those are all the armor sets I had to show off. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really, really fun to make. I like just making simple stuff like this and nerding out about armor sets and fashion. <laughs> so if you're looking for a friendly Discord community, the link to mine is in the description of every video. And other than that, everyone, I hope you have yourself an awesome day. And I'll see you all very soon.